1,500, 1,800 cars on top of the 8,500 that we were going to pack in our normal parking lot. We can negotiate them with the police department, the sheriff's office, yeah. to close roads so that we could get people out after the show on Friday and right. Saturday. Right. And it worked. It flowed right out of there. We didn't get any negative. Normally, on Saturday night, people are in that parking lot for 11, 12 o'clock at night trying to get out. Right. Not last night. We stopped all traffic headed this way. The police department stopped and the sheriff's department did a great job. And everybody was flowing out of here after that awesome night show. I heard oh, it was I God. heard it was absolutely spectacular. And you know what? The I think everybody needed this. Everybody needed this. We all needed this. Like you said, after and I think you said it best, the year of just devastation, isolation. We needed this. We needed to get it back. And you know what? <laughs> This was the landmark, tone-setting event for the rest of the industry that said, we can do this. We can do it safely. Yes. We can do it smartly. Yes. And everybody needs it. So we're setting the tone for the rest of the year. So if you're thinking about going to Air Venture, get ready. I've already told Jack Pell, hang on to your hat, because here they come. That's it. They're going to come out there in numbers you've never seen before, because we typically, they replicate exactly what happens here, right. the number of people that participate sure. in. Now, we were down in our exhibitors, because a lot of them have big corporations, and they were told they can't travel by law. So the big companies, you know, like Bose and such, right. they were not able to get here. But all the other ones did. And boy, were they glad. I've been walking around talking to all those exhibitors and vendors, and they're like, wow, best year ever. We sell them like hotcakes. So they were thrilled. And if you were in line to get food, you know that those guys were really, really happy. I do. I was there yesterday, yeah. and they were thrilled. They had lines. Oh, like, yeah. Every, even the lemonade stand yeah. yesterday with the weather. Well, let me ask you, because not only just now, Sun and Fun is really about engaging, ed educating, accelerating, looking to the future. Yep. We're, we're, we're planning for the future, using history to plan for the future. I've got to have you. Well, I have you. When they come and they look at the Aerospace Center of Excellence, you're going to see construction. Oh, and that is so cool. Yep. And it is awesome. And we've got Project Skylab, 22,000 feet. Talk to us about that. I got the man himself in the hot seat. I want to know what is going on. And I'm reading summer of 2021. Which, by the way, is just in a few months. I didn't know if you knew that. I just throwing that at you. So tell us about what is Project Skylab. So you got to put it back into in, in perspective. Sun and Fun has always wanted to have an educational component that was the mainstay of their purpose, right? And they played around with it. And a lot of people talked about it. And I refer to this as conversation over a cocktail. But they never could get the traction to really get going. And so in 2019, we set out with a plan. We built this idea of Skylab to have not just classrooms, because everybody's got a classroom. Right. But we've met and discussed this with the leadership for Polk County Public Schools, with the, with the colleges and the universities in the local area. And all of them said, we need hands-on laboratories. So we said, we'll be the ones. We'll build it. So that was the purpose of this new construction. Uh, honestly, we didn't think we'd get enough money to do it for several years. One year, one year, we had 80% of the funding done, and we said at that moment, when COVID hit, we're 80% complete, should we not do it? Yeah. And there was this huddle up, what do you think? Should we, should we? And I said, no, now's the time. we got to step out there on the edge. We've got to go for it, because if we don't, if we live in fear, we're going to die in fear. It'll never happen. So let's just stand up tall, let's take the challenge, let's go for it, and let's see what happens. So we pulled the trigger, started the construction, the board was on, 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 on the uh, uh, planning with this, they all agreed, let's do it. So we started the construction, and get this, in August of last year, shovels in the dirt, and we're going to open the building, 1 July, this year, and get this, not only is it going to open, 1 July we move in, we set up house, and then on the 4th of August of this year, we'll cut the ribbon. And guess who walks in as soon as we cut the ribbon? Over 150 Polk County science teachers from all the schools in the local area for a two-day seminar on how to use the facility, how to do training with aviation as a tool, an avenue to teach the sciences. And then a week later, we do our summer camps. We're yes. not going to get to do all six of them because we're a little short. So what, what are you doing this summer? Let's go ahead because we've got guests watching yep. live. Let's make sure they know what is being offered because I also know with your STEM Fusion, 
that if they sign up today, they can, there's a discount that they can get. 50% off. Holy moly, yeah. they've yeah. got to do this. So what are the three that they can sign up their kids for? And if parents are ready for this because yeah. they've had them home too long. I think right now it looks like they're going to have 10 to 12. Okay. They're going to have 13 to 15, and then 16, 17, and 18 will be the three classes. Okay. Destination Aviation Summer Camp on our website, flysnf.org, or you can go to aceedu.aero. Okay. Either one of those you can sign up, or you can go to our student fusion tent right here in Skyline here, Hangar A, and sign up with your student right now and get 50% off. Hey, my son, my son-in-law just signed up all three of his great kids. Parker, it's not, it's mine. Right. <laughs> so yeah, they're signing up left and right, so those are going to be filled. So those summer camps will take place, and then we roll right into, get this, a collaboration with Polk County Schools, public schools. Yes. We're going to have 5th graders, 6th graders, and 11th graders starting in September, will populate that building all through the year, all the way through the school year. And then next year, we'll expand it and we'll add more grades to that. And the purpose of this is to have the Polkettie schools teach their science classes with real science physical items, right. like holograms, engines. We just got funding on Thursday night. Two folks came together for a $150,000 state-of-the-art, 20-foot-wide globe they will depict real-time weather all over the world instantaneously. And the folks that know will be over there giving classes. So the students can come here and they can see real-time weather all over the world. We can see action as it happens. Topography will be shown. So you can see a hurricane developing in the Atlantic. You can see a typhoon developing in the Pacific. And also you can look at tornadoes crossing through Arkansas. So I'm telling you, this is the most an unbelievable science facility you're ever going to see. And it's all free to the students. And see, and that is so awesome. And I do want to say, because this is something that is so important, um, and I want to show, because I know yep. that with 80%, that right now, if people are willing to donate, and this is not, I, as an educator, yep. like, you know, this isn't really for Sun and Fun. What this does is this benefits students of all ages, Correct. public students, public school students, this benefits them. This makes STEM education, it makes it practical, it makes it applicable, it is hands-on, You are. it is engaging, it is absolutely accelerating, it's educating. This is what we need to do. But I understand now, if people donate, that the Ray Foundation, are they still matching it? To right up to midnight tonight. All right, so we need to get your donations in and do that. That, that is absolutely phenomenal and so awesome. Now, talk to me a little bit about the, um, speaking of education, the Aero Club, I know here at Sun Fun, they were just building an aircraft, and I got word earlier this morning, they got it done. They got it done. They got they built the airplane starting on, on Monday. They finished yesterday uh, morning, and they're now disassembling it. Did they sleep? They didn't sleep at all. They were, <laughs> and they built the engine. The engine came in parts. So the engine's built, the airframe, the fuselage, the wings, everything's done. And all has to be done now is shipped up to Alabama for okay. the people that built the kit. They're going to cover it. They're going to paint it. Then this, the club will go up there and fly the bricks a number of hours, and then it'll fly to Oshkosh with two students in it. And, and oh, by the way, I'm going to throw a pitch in here. Oh, pitch, the, pitch, pitch. The Lakeland Aero Club is, you know, what we call the glue that holds us all together. Because after school, if the students do what I did in school, it's not a good idea. They have an opportunity to go hang out in the Aero Club to work on, fix, maintain, or fly aircraft. And that's so special because it keeps them focused. So it takes what they learn in school and practical application of it right there at the Lakeland Aero Club, and they do a lot of fundraisers. Well, last night, our good friends over at Double M Aviation, who works on all of our airplanes and is a big sponsor and supporter, they they literally had a fundraiser last night and raised another $12,000 in a night show party dinner for the Lakeland Aero Club, which is just the coolest thing. And then they threw another pitch in there for our friends over at Shelter. Yes. Shelter this year before the show came over and said, We've watched what you've done. We like what you're doing now. We want to partner with you. We're going to give you 10 cents out of every gallon of gas we sell on the field this week. Well, last night, before they filled up all the jet aircraft, they had surpassed 100,000 gallons of fuel sold on the field. And now we're going to give all the jet stuff. So this is their their donation is going to well pass over twenty five thousand dollars. They gave us thirty thousand gallons of fuel for all of our performers, and that's the kind of the relationships we're building. 
we've got for the first time ever for Skylab, we have actually got support from public, a $100,000 grant. We got support from GEICO, a $100,000 gift. That's the kind of support we're getting now because we're doing the right thing for the students, the young men and women in Polk County, or anybody that can get here, to expose them to the sciences through aviation. That's the coolest thing. So in that Skylab, one of the neat things that they're seeing is that it's not just for 500 students to sit there and look at an airplane, we talk about it, but I can break that down into a two rooms, three rooms, four rooms, five laboratories, all working simultaneously on different projects, and all of the tools we use are mobile. They roll in and out the, with the doors open and closed. With the, the Jupiter the engines, purchase. everything we have. All that rolls in and out of there, and then all these aircraft can pull, be pulled around because higher power doors donated a, a $50,000 uh, rising door, roll in an aircraft, close it, and then we have a whole day of science learning on a real airplane. So this is the kind of cool stuff that nobody's got this. Holograms, the, the machines that you can actually look at a jet engine and watch it yes. operate real time, but, but it's not there. That's it's awesome. virtual. It's virtual. And oh, by the way, Redbird gave us, Redbird just gave us. I saw that. A, 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 oh, no. Oh, no. More. 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 And there's more. No, and there's we love more. it. There's more. I love it. Uh-huh. Because the Air Club got the Redbird TM flight sim. They got the hands-on desktop flight sim. Right. Redbird gave to Skylab. This is the more. A fully functional, full motion, $125,000 time recordable simulator that they'll put in that building. Along with our friends, our, our another friends from Honeycomb gave us 40 more desktop sims as of Thursday. So I'm, I'm telling you, this is going to exceed everybody's wildest expectations for what's going to be in that building and the number of young lives that we can engage, accept, educate, accelerate is mind-boggling. That is, I tell you what, life, this is amazing. And you know what, and I know, of course, we have, today we've got the air show. Is there anything you want to highlight today as we get ready to close out and do a pitch for next year? It's April 5th through the 10th. So I know we've only got a few more minutes, but anything you want to highlight and pitch for next year? Can you give us maybe any cliffhangers that you can eat? Well, I can tell you next year we'll have our dear friends, the Thunderbirds, rolling down the runway for us, which will be the centerpiece of our show. Obviously, everybody loves it. And Blue Angels this year. Blues this year. And I understand. We have both on the road. The only one of the only times the two teams are together yep. at KOAO, and the Thunderbirds did a Came low by pass. A low pass on the way to Melbourne, Cocoa Beach. Well, so, the, well, the Angels were actually on the taxi. Absolutely, it was a great, it was a, a, a very iconic moment. The whole year has been challenging, but it culminated into this incredible experience, and I just can't tell you how much. We all appreciate the efforts of the volunteers, yes. and I want to give a big shout out to the volunteers and main registration because yesterday was total pandemonium as the world descended on us to try to get in for the show, and they made it happen. They literally did. We were grabbing every staff member, every volunteer we could, race them to Lindbergh lot, put out a main registration, and at, at, at at uh, two thirty yesterday afternoon, I said, "If they walk up and they've got a piece of paper set they purchased, or it's on their cell phone, wave them in, skip the wristband, call security, tell them don't look for wristbands, let them in, get them in the game, they're paid, and here they come. They flooded us and over, literally overwhelmed the site. I didn't think that we could pack them in like we did, but we well passed thirty-five thousand people yesterday. It was unbelievable." Lights. Um, as the Florida Aviation Network, as an educator, I can't thank you enough for your continued vision, your continued mission, um, absolutely to engage, educate, accelerate. Thank you for all that you're doing. Thank you to all of the sponsors here. I know next year, Sun and Fun is planned for April 5th through the 10th. Correct. Thunderbirds will be here. We will be back, and I know... We don't need roads. Yeah. We don't need roads, but I will tell you, all roads lead to Lakeland, Florida, to Sun and Fun. And I would tell you to think about this. Yes. When you come to Sun and Fun, you're helping build a brighter future through aviation. I can't ask for a better close. Lights, always. Perfect. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Lori Bradner. I'm with the Florida Aviation Network. We are broadcasting live and in the clear from Sun and Fun. 
2021, we are back to sun and fun. And the future's so bright, we're going to have to wear shades. We look forward to seeing you here as we close out the show for this year. Again, I'm Lori Bradner with the Florida, Florida Aviation Network. Thank you.